Okay, so let's keep going here. Um, first thing I'm going to show you is a really cute little trick. Uh, you know how I've been pulling up the stop motor thing and whatever else, and uh, you know, it, it's kind of annoying, I, I agree. So let's take care of it once and for all. Um, I want to play with this program here in a loop. And I want to end on the robot being stopped. So I don't have to do anything else. I don't have to pull any wires. I don't have anything. So in other words, I want this thing to run just once. The easiest way to do that is simply to put it in what's called an infinite loop. I'm going to put it in a loop at the very bottom that it'll never exit. So it'll never come back up to the top again. Okay, It'll be stuck in eternity for as long as the battery's on or the batteries are alive or it's plugged in or whatever doing the same thing, which in this case will be nothing. To do that, you just take and you do a while statement. Well, let's do a while. It doesn't even really matter what. While one. Okay. And then we're going to put in a couple of brackets. Okay. There's nothing in the brackets. Nothing's going to happen. Okay. It's going to go while one. Well, it's one. Okay. Well, is it going to change? No, never. So it's just a thing of da 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 da, round and around and around and around. So the last thing that's going to happen is it's going to stop the bot and it's going to get stuck in an infinite loop. Okay. Let's see if it works. We're going to load it up. Should run for half a second and stop. And cool. How easy is that? So I'm going to comment this. This is an infinite uh, loop. All right. I didn't spell that right. In phi. No, I'm not going to worry about it right now. Infinite loop. Okay. Just stuck. All right. Never going to go beyond. So now let's play with some other commands. Let's take and change this forward. Uh, let's copy and paste this forward. Okay. And let's make something that's also useful, like, for example, a uh, turn right. And I'll just call it T right. And if I want to turn right, so I want the robot to go this direction, I want to reverse the direction of the right wheel. So let's take and change. Here's my right wheel. Let's take that high and make it a low. Oops, capitals. And let's make that low and make it a high. Okay. So now what will happen if I call upon that? Let's call a turn right. And you know what? We're going to set it down half a second. It probably won't do much. This way we can actually kind of watch it. Okay. So it should go forward for half a second and turn right that direction for half a second. And then stop. How about that? Okay. Let's make that even a little bit smaller. Let's make that like 100. 100, so it doesn't drive away from our field of view here. And... <coughs> How beautiful is that? So obviously now it would be nice to make something like, say, a turn left. So I'm going to copy this forward command thing here. And I'm going to paste it down here. And I'm going to change the name to turn left. All right. In which case, <clears throat> I want to take the left wheel and make it reverse directions. All right. From the forward. So that means that I'm going to make this a low and this a high. Oops. I can't spell today. I never can spell. There we go. And let's go down here and let's make and we're going to make
make that a left. Oh my goodness gracious. There we go. Let's make it a little bit bigger than 100 because you can barely see that. Let's make it 200, 200, and 200. Okay, so now we should see it go forward briefly, twitch to the right, twitch to the left, and stop. Perfect. All right. Last one we probably ought to throw in there is a reverse. So let's take this, copy our forward, and let's put it down here. And let's call this reverse. Okay. In which case, you can probably guess, we need to change all of these. So this high becomes a low. This low becomes a high. This high becomes a low. And this low becomes a high. Okay, and let's throw in a reverse. We'll put it between the turn right and turn left. And we're going to go reverse. Okay, let's see what happens. There you go. Everything's working. Let's try it on autonomous. Okay. Now remember what should happen is three seconds after I put this in, because remember that delay, I'll point it out. There's the setup. The last thing it does is wait three seconds. So if I plug this in three seconds later, it works. Okay. So you all getting the picture here? I think this is, uh, we have about six minutes left. Let me show you one other really cool trick. Ah, <laughs> it takes off. Um, so you notice I've been putting in here this delay and it fits within these parentheses. And I suppose at some point you've wondered what in the world are these parentheses for? Why do I have these things here? Okay. Well, it's because I can stick a variable and pass it through into those brackets. So let's take and create a variable in here. Let's call it integer uh, t for time. Uh, you know what, actually, I'm jumping ahead. Let's stop this video at eight minutes and uh, we'll proceed with that one on the next video and then we'll actually make it uh, run because I can see I'll probably run out of time. So I will see you shortly and we're going to talk about the insertion of that, uh, that variable. All right, see you soon.